So today we are going to be talking about the virulence factors of Neisseria gonorrhoeae, which include the pili, outer membrane proteins of class 1, 2, and 3, and the endotoxin, which is very different from that of other gram-negative bacteria because instead of being a lipopolysaccharide, it is a lipooligosaccharide. First of all, we have the pili. The pili aid in attachment of the bacteria to the host cell, and they also have an antiphagocytic role. And how is that possible? It's because the pili, they cause this little bacteria to attach to the epithelial cells so tightly that the phagocytic macrophages and neutrophils cannot reach the bacteria. They are so significant that non-pilated non strains are avirulent. And one property is marked antigenic radiation. Now, what is this? Basically, it is a phenomena in which there is multiple recombinations in the genes which are encoding the pili, and hence this leads to pili with hypervariable amino acid sequences. Because of these recombinations and this variation in the pili, we have more than 100 serotypes of Neisseria gonorrhoeae. And it is because of these changing antigens in the pili that the bacteria are protected from our own antibodies and from the vaccines. Now the second virulence factor is the a class, a different classes of outer membrane proteins, which include class one, two, and three. The class one, they were formerly called as class one. Now they're called as porins class, subclass A and subclass B. Their role is to promote invasion into the epithelial cell. Next are the OPA proteins. They are actually a class of these outer membrane proteins, but still we are going to study still we're going to study them as separate virulence factors. They promote adherence and invasion into the epithelial cells, and they are responsible for the opaque appearance of colonies, hence their name OPA proteins. Next virulence factor is the endotoxin, which is the lipooligosaccharide instead of the lipopolysaccharide, which is found in most of the gram-negative bacteria. It is composed of lipid A and an oligosaccharide part, which comprises a few sugars. Now, what happens is that, first of all, the first three virulence factor, which include the pili, the outer membrane proteins porin, and the outer membrane proteins OPA A, sorry, OPA proteins, they allow the bacteria to bind to the fallopian tube non ciliated epithelial cells. And then the endotoxin, which is the lipooligosaccharide, destroys the cilia on the neighboring cells. Now, what happens is that by endocytosis, the bacteria is taken up by the host cells, and after being taken up, it is transported into the endocytic vacuole. Inside the vacuole, it multiplies and then it is released into the subepithelial space where it can cause more systemic infections.